I probably had some issue at my anal stage, so that's why I'm trying to hoard all these things. Hi everyone, I'm rocking the latest fashion right now, and it's a swimsuit and a trench coat. Tipsy Cherry's talking again. What am I gonna talk about today? Let me think. Let me talk about my transition into a so-called collector to colostro, no, not colostro, to minimalistic lifestyle. Basically, what caused the change? I know it's like such a trend now with the Marie Kondo method and all that and everyone's just like I gotta clean, I gotta sell all my stuff it's like such a movement and um, I'm not the only one I'm pretty sure like my office is like talking about it and everyone's talking about it but how I personally started this journey is because I realized whenever I go on like a business trip to like somewhere I only need to bring like a freaking luggage and that's all that I need so my essentials for like a month or you know like a long extended period of time I only need that one freaking luggage and maybe a backpack because I need to bring computers and all that but um I realized how little I need I really don't need that much so um, it made me realize that a lot of these extra stuff, they're just really extra and even like the plants that I have. If you see my apartment tour, you can see a lot of plants around. So sorry, this fake wall looks really fake, but um, even a lot of plants I have, I don't need them, but obviously they look nice and they make me feel happy. So that's why I have them around. And so I try to throw out a lot of my things and my past me would be like, oh my God, it's such a waste. You could have sold those, but it takes so long to sell some things. And so I might as well just throw them away if they're just not wanted and yeah it's not very environmentally friendly but honestly think about all these things that you throw out every single day do you really care about the one thing that you're throwing out probably not and so yeah I started throwing out a lot of things and the key to having a clean place is not how well you organize it and this is also aligned with the theory that Marie Kondo has it is not about how you organize things it's about how little things do you have like how messy can like two objects be like it can't really be that messy because it's just two objects just think about if you minimize the amount of stuff that you have your place is gonna look so much cleaner and so you can see my apartment tour and all that you'll know what I mean because I used to own so much stuff like so much stuff I was such a hoarder I was basically like from a total hoarder to like a somewhat minimalist because I was just too much of a hoarder and the contrast is just real like it's just so real and so yeah also, I watched a show, it's called There's Nothing in My House, and I'm translating the title, uh, this like TV series title directly from Chinese, so it's probably not like that in English. I don't know what the official title is, but I'll try to find it for you guys. It's a Japanese show, it's basically about this lady who went through a breakup in her childhood when she was in high school or something, and then she realized, like she wanted to kill herself, and then she realized that she doesn't want the police to find her, I guess, after she called herself to find her room in that state. And she was like, I can't die like this because I don't want people's last memory of me to be like that. I don't want people to remember me as the girl who has like super messy room. And that like totally, like it just hit me because I don't want people to see me like that either. I'm not saying that I'm gonna kill myself, but I don't want people to see me as like the girl who has like a super messy room. I just don't like that. And so that really hit me. That really got me motivated to start cleaning up things. And honestly, like many other things in life, like gaining happiness or maintaining a relationship or staying positive, all these things is an ongoing process. It's not like, uh, once I tidy to this point after all, after all that time, after like happily ever after, I don't have to tidy anymore. That is not true. So even right now, there are still a lot of things that I am not satisfied with. I'm really not satisfied with. I see a lot of imperfections and stuff that I want to change. So in the future, in the next couple months, I want to say, you might be seeing an updated apartment tour slash garage tour because I am living in a garage right now. And so yeah, being a minimalist or having less things, it's an ongoing process because I think my natural tendency is to hoard and I think it has to do with my childhood and Freud's developmental psychology and all that I probably had some issue at my anal stage so that's why I'm trying to hoard all these things that aside I know I have this issue so my natural tendency is to buy more things obtain more things but at the same time in order to keep my place clean I do have to get rid of a lot of things and make it a habit to not buy unnecessary things and so yeah hope this like little casual video helped you please let me know like what are your thoughts on minimalism hoarder where do you think you stand in like the whole minimalism and hoarder scale 
I think I am currently at like maybe I want to say 40% minimalism maybe I'm not quite there yet I'm definitely not at a passing rate because I still have a lot of things that I have and I even obtain a new like shoe holder shoe cabinet but honestly I can't imagine life without a shoe cabinet like it's just something that I feel like I really need to have but I did resist the temptation to buy like even more furniture like a fancy coffee table because I already have a coffee table right now it's just not like super fancy looking I wanted to get one with like the gold like frame and all that but I didn't get it because I didn't want to spend money and it was a little pricey and so yeah um, I hope this video helped you please let me know what you think and I love you we'll see you guys next time I have a lot of money saving perks and benefits in my info box be sure to check those out I don't know what I just saying but I will see you guys next time bye